Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a widely prescribed medication for prostate cancer, enzalutamide. We'll break down what enzalutamide is, how it works, its clinical benefits, side effects, and the important safety profile as of 2024. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more detailed medical insights. Let's start with a brief overview of prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers among men, primarily affecting older adults. It begins in the prostate gland, a small gland that produces seminal fluid. Prostate cancer can grow slowly, but in some cases, it becomes aggressive, spreading to other parts of the body. Treatment varies depending on the stage of the disease, and advanced prostate cancer often requires therapies aimed at reducing androgen levels, such as testosterone, which fuel the cancer's growth. Enzalutamide, a key player in the treatment of prostate cancer, was first approved by the FDA in 2012. It's marketed under brand names like Xtandi and is classified as an androgen receptor inhibitor, or ARI. This means it works by blocking the action of androgens, like testosterone, from binding to androgen receptors in prostate cancer cells. By doing so, enzalutamide effectively reduces the signals that promote cancer cell growth. It's prescribed for men whose prostate cancer no longer responds to hormone therapy or surgery aimed at lowering testosterone. It's also used in patients whose cancer has spread to other parts of the body or who are at high risk of metastasis, even when the cancer still responds to hormone therapy. One of the most important things to note about enzalutamide is its success in clinical trials. In multiple studies involving men with advanced prostate cancer, enzalutamide was shown to significantly delay cancer progression and extend overall survival. Enzalutamide is taken orally with a typical daily dose of 160 milligrams. It can be taken with or without food, making it convenient for patients. However, it's crucial that patients take the medication as directed by their healthcare provider and do not change the dosage without consultation. For patients receiving gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GNRH therapy. This treatment should be continued alongside enzalutamide unless the patient has undergone surgery to remove the testicles, bilateral orchiectomy. Like all medications, enzalutamide comes with potential side effects. Common side effects include muscle and joint pain, fatigue, hot flashes, constipation, decreased appetite, and diarrhea. High blood pressure and headaches are also frequently reported. While most patients tolerate the drug well, serious side effects can occur. One of the most significant risks is seizure, which occurs in a small percentage of patients. Individuals with a history of seizures, brain injury, stroke, or brain tumors are at higher risk. If a patient experiences a seizure while on enzalutamide, the treatment should be permanently discontinued. Another rare but severe condition associated with enzalutamide is posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome, PRES. This is a brain condition that can lead to symptoms like headaches, confusion, visual disturbances, and even seizures. If any of these symptoms arise, immediate medical attention is necessary. Heart disease, specifically ischemic heart disease, has also been reported in some patients on enzalutamide, which can lead to chest pain or shortness of breath. Patients should be monitored for signs of cardiovascular problems, and treatment may need to be adjusted if these issues occur. There are also warnings about falls and bone fractures in patients taking enzalutamide as these risks are elevated. Healthcare providers may recommend bone-targeted therapies to reduce the risk of fractures in high-risk patients. Men undergoing enzalutamide treatment are also advised to use effective contraception if their partner is pregnant or may become pregnant, as the drug can cause fetal harm. Drug interactions are another important consideration when taking enzalutamide. 
This medication can interact with other drugs metabolized by the liver enzymes CYP2C8 and CYP3A4. For patients taking strong inhibitors of these enzymes, the dose of enzalutamide may need to be adjusted. Likewise, patients should avoid strong inducers of these enzymes, as they can reduce the effectiveness of enzalutamide. In summary, enzalutamide has proven to be a powerful tool in the fight against advanced prostate cancer, improving survival rates, and delaying disease progression. However, it's essential to be aware of the risks and work closely with your healthcare provider to monitor for any side effects or drug interactions. If you or a loved one are considering enzalutamide, always discuss the benefits and potential risks with your doctor. Thank you for watching this detailed breakdown of enzalutamida. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos on the latest medical treatments. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.